This summer, families can enjoy free concerts of folk and ethnic music and dance at the Mondays in the Park Concert Series. And here to tell us more is Adrian Decker. Hi, Adrian. Hi. Thank you for being here. I love going to these, by the way. Oh, I like well, to thank come. You so I bring much. the blanket, yeah. I bring the dogs, whatever else. Um, yeah, yeah, and you're and not head alone. To Liberty Park. Yeah, it's Liberty Park, so it's a totally free event. Families can come out, bring their picnic dinners, bring their dogs, bring their friends, and just enjoy a lovely evening in the park and get to experience some music and dance that they might not otherwise be exposed to. Which is great. And they're all in front of the old Chase House, mm -hmm. which is a yeah. really lovely yeah, little spot. Yeah, we are a, a working folk arts museum, but Mondays in the Park is a series that's been going on since 1987, so we're really honored to be able to continue that tradition. And you've got like this great lineup this year. Yeah. Let's start. It starts on Monday. We should yeah. tell people. Okay, so uh, what do you start with? So on July 11th, which is our first concert, we have the Rio Bravo Band coming, and they have actually performed at Mondays in the Park several times in the past. The Castillo family has been performing together for over 30 years, so they wow. are very well known and loved in this region. So we're delighted to have them kind of open our series this year, which is great. And then on the 18th, you've got some music yeah. from Argentina, yeah. Paraguay. Yeah, yeah. We we're going down to South America, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, so. We We've got Mensajeros del Tiempo opening for us, and then a Peruvian group called Chasqui is following them. That's great, and I love this that you've also got coming up August 1st some Indian classical. Mm -hmm. Indian classical dance, and we also have Polish and Ukrainian dance, so we'll Which be doing some be globe hopping, but you'll get to see some very different styles and colorful performances. Some the things we haven't seen before. Yeah. I, I don't remember seeing them. And then you've got a Japanese ensemble mm -hmm. coming. Yeah, that, that following Monday, we have a Japanese ensemble um, performing folk and classical music, and then we have Nino Reyes and the Two Shields Dance Troupe returning to Mondays in the Park. They're a crowd favorite, and we're delighted to have them again this year. Great. You've also got some um, bluegrass coming, some yeah. soul and gospel. Yeah, and yeah. We, we really have a wonderful variety of acts this yeah. year, and we're so delighted to have the chance to share them with people. Wonderful. Well, thank you for doing it, because I love going, so thanks oh, for yeah. being here. Thank you. And if you'd like to know more about that free series, Monday in the Parks, it's sponsored by the Utah Division of Arts and Museums. The concert series starts J July 11th and goes Mondays through August 29th at 7 p.m. in front of the Chase House in Liberty Park. For the schedule, just go to arts.utah.gov. That's arts.utah.gov. And they've also got some traditional craft artists who will be there this year. I'm Mary Dixon. Thanks for watching Contact.